Okay, now let us talk about Emperor Nero and the Apostle Peter and Paul. Now, in today's society, many of us believe we are so free. We are so free to the point that we allow individuals to bully us, right? Bully us into accepting that a boy is a girl and a girl is a boy because we are so free. We are so free that we allow people to disrespect Christianity. We are so free that we allow people to violate, disrespect, just walk all over the one they call Jesus. Some say Yeshua. Some say Yehushua, the land from the tribe of Judah. Because we're so free, we just allow ever and anything to happen right now let us go over um what happened to peter and paul the apostles because a lot of people had to die so that you can be so free today now history tells us that both peter and paul were martyred in rome about 66 a.d during the persecution under emperor nero and we will be talking about who Emperor Nero was, right? Paul was beheaded. Peter was crucified, upside down, at his request, since he did not feel worthy to die in the same manner as the Lord. A lot of people had to die so that you can accept the disrespect in today's world. Let us continue with who exactly was Emperor Nero. Now, history tells us that Nero, he used to organize orgies that would last for days. His guests would eat until they vomit. They had sex until they fall asleep from exhaustion. That is the Roman Emperor, the one who is responsible for killing thousands of Christians and the brutal murder of the apostle Peter and Paul. He would order naked girls and boys to be tied to stakes. Then he dressed up like wild animal and jump on them, pretending to eat their genitals. That's Emperor Nero for you, right? No, let's continue. He would forcibly took the wives of the Roman senator as his mistresses. He even had sex with the Vestal virgins. Emperor Nero went on to marry a free man known as Pythagoras. Nero would play the bride during the wedding ceremony. Nero even wear a veil now, after they were married, the newlywed would consummate their union in front of their guests. And that is Emperor Nero, who is responsible for killing thousands of Christians and the brutal murder of Peter and Paul. Right? And history has been polite. Let's continue. It is said that he had sex with his mother and then eventually kill her, right? That is Emperor Nero for you, the Roman Emperor. And in today's society, they like to put Rome on a pedestal, right? There's a lot of information out here. You need to go and do your research and understand what you are dealing with. Let us continue. He castrated his lover, a male and he dressed his lover as a woman and marry him that's emperor nero for you right no he beheaded his first wife marry his mistress and then turn around and brutally kill her while she was expecting she was pregnant when he murdered her he kicked her to death threw her on the ground and kicked her that's Emperor Nero, right? Now, this emperor would pour tar over Christians, tar them. Then he would put them on a stake and light them on fire. 
while they're alive. Emperor Nero. A lot of people had to go through a whole lot for you today to sit and accept people disrespect towards your belief, towards your religion. A lot of people had to lose their lives. And you're so free in today's society, so free thinking, free living, that you're willing to accept the disrespect that is handed out to you. Right? You need to understand that no one is coming to rescue you. And if you sit and continue to be so free, if you sit and continue to accept what these people are selling you, it's only going to be your painful demise. Because Mills and Boone Jesus is not coming to rescue you. Right? He never came to rescue anyone during World War II, during the Holocaust. He never came to rescue anyone during slavery and all those atrocities that happened. So understand, keeping silent and accepting the disrespect because you're so free is not going to end well for you. We need to understand what times we're living in. A lot of information is available. Go do your research, connect the dots, and understand what's going on. We need to seek the face of the Most High. Let us pray and say glory be to the Most High.